Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh and welcome to a new episode of Words of Wellness. I'm your host Yasser Al-Manawi, a clinical therapist. Today we're going to be talking about a personality disorder that could happen to any one of us. Uh, this personality disorder is a dependent personality disorder or I should say personality type, a dependent personality. Uh, why do we need to talk about that? We need to talk about it because it's crippling. Uh, a person with this type of personality is a person who's not able to uh, go out and uh, meet the responsibilities of daily life. Uh, a lot of this personality has to do with the way his or her upbringing were all about. Uh, so we are going to read uh, the translation of an ayah uh, from the Quran and we're going to get back to our discussion about the dependent personality disorder. Uh, the ayah from Surah Luqman, ayah number 19, uh, and the translation says, And be moderate in your pace and lower your voice. Indeed, the most disagreeable of sounds is the voice of donkeys. Well, the reason I wanted, I chose this ayah is actually the operative word, which is what? Be moderate in your pace. What does that mean? I have to be moderate. I, I took this and I wanted to take a look at child upbringing. Uh, when I'm mild, in my pace, that or moderate in my pace, I actually do not give too much and do not take too much. I am consistent and I follow the directions at all times. What directions? Directions which is a system, an inner system that I have with the children. That's what we need to pay attention to. Uh, let's get back to the disorder or the personality type that we're talking about. This personality type is what? Dependent personality type. Let me tell you how it develops. Uh, the personality is developed by the way uh, they're being taught, the children are being taught. So if somebody have a child and they love them very much, a lot of times actually uh, grown children, when they come to treatment, they come and they say, well, my parents love me to death. And you know what? That expression is accurate. And it could be true. Because too much love is not what they need. You need to love them, but you don't need to do everything for them. You need to love them, but you don't need to cripple them. Because doing too much for them is going to cripple them. How? Uh, basically, the way it goes is, when my child, or any child, is not doing anything, they lack self-confidence, they lack experience, and they don't have any way of knowing how to do things. Why? Because their parents love them or her too much, and they do everything. Why? To make them comfortable. Well, maybe you make them comfortable when they're younger, yes. But does that mean it's the right thing to do? No. Sometimes there is an expression that we call tough love. Love in a child doesn't mean that you have to do everything for them. Love in a child means that you have to teach them to be responsible, to meet life's responsibilities when they grow up, when they get older. So a lot of times a person with a dependent personality is that you find him not able to do anything. Not only that, but they come to the point that they could actually refuse to do something when they get older. And they say, well, okay, I can't do this because I'm not used to it. My parents used to do everything for me, so, well, it's not my fault, really. That's the ultimate dependency. That's the ultimate dependency on parents. That's the ultimate way to run away from responsibility. So what do people do to run away from responsibility? They will do anything. They will do anything and everything. Uh, so I would urge every parent 
to uh, be moderate in their love, to be moderate in what they do for their children. Because at a certain time, their children have to be responsible for their own selves. Uh, so do not cripple your child because afterwards, when your child come and refuse to do things, what's going to happen? It's going to be a double whammy. What does that mean, a double whammy? A double whammy is when somebody who is uh, 23, 24, 25 years old, they finished their college and they went through it, yes, and everything, but they don't want to work. They don't want to do anything. Why? Because they're unable to. Why? Because you used to do everything for them. So that's one thing from one side that's actually affecting them negatively, that's uh, affecting their uh, self-confidence and self-esteem. And from the other side, you find the parent at this point, they tell them, well, what's the matter with you? Why can't you depend on yourself? You're not able to do this. You're not able to do that. What am I going to be working for you for the rest of my life? I'm going to be doing things for you for the rest of my life. And that's the second whammy that we're talking about because why? Now, when they're not doing anything because they don't have legs to stand on. And then the parents come from the other side and what do they do? They pluck their feather. So they are not able to fly. So they're not able to walk or to fly. And that's how it's very dangerous. Dependent personality disorder. With a dependency, you find a lot of avoidance. They go hand in hand. Dependency and avoidance. Uh, what is avoidant personality? Avoidant personality is a personality that actually doesn't want to face anything. Uh, if there is something that they know they have to face today, they say, oh, no, 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 I'll just find any and every excuse not to do it. They don't do that consciously. But what happens in therapy is that when they come, we bring that to the conscious, from the unconscious to the conscious. And then starts the battle between what they are used to, uh, between their habits, uh, and between uh, what they've been told all of, the, all of their lives, and the new way of life is that they have to stand on their own two feet. And of course, it is a very difficult situation. So now, that's why I chose this moderation and pacing oneself in child rearing in order for them to raise a healthy child. There is another issue that we will talk about maybe in a different episode, and it has to do with too much love or too much rigidity. Uh, so we will get back to that. I hope this episode was beneficial to you, and I hope that if you uh, have a child, that you pace yourself and don't be afraid to let them be responsible. It doesn't mean that you don't love them. You still do love them. You actually love them more. So do what's right. Don't follow just your feelings. Follow your thoughts. Uh, I'll leave you for today, and we'll meet again in a different episode of Words of Wellness. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.